here representing Kushi Baby is Shail Sinasane and Mohammed Shanawaz. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. We are Kushi Baby, and what we have is culturally appropriate wearable, which is a digital necklace marrying a tradition with technology to track maternal and child health to the last mile. <laughs> Imagine a mother who is Devli holding her child, Lakshmi, who has to travel for three kilometers in a difficult environment to get to an only health camp site, which happens in that month. As she reaches the health camp, she's being questioned, when is her baby born? And the way she answers is she was born after Diwali festival. Such a, a guesswork leads to errors in data, probably giving a wrong vaccination, and eventually leading into a wrong actionable input by health officials. We all know data, it speaks for itself. 800,000 children die from vaccine-preventable diseases in India alone. Now, Indian government does provide vaccination programs. What happens, though, is the data which is being reported and error in its judgment on the health official side. So the need is clear. What we need is a real-time factual data and actionable insight for health officials to make their mark in the health outcome. So Hushi baby. Hushi baby means happy baby in Hindi, and it's our goal to have a happy and healthy baby all around the world. Currently, mother holds the paper record. Health worker has its own diary that with a list of patients. And paper has its own problem. The paper is not searchable, and uh, it's never complete. And moreover, it's not actionable. Beyond paper, there's a challenge of community engagement for the mothers. The ground level health worker has to visit home to home to inform mothers to come for the life-saving services. So here's a Hushi baby where we give ne digital necklaces to mothers and when she arrives at the camp, the health worker scans the necklace and with biometric authentication from mothers, here's the data for the edit. And when later health worker syncs the data to the cloud, health officials take very important actions uh, for decision making. Our system also generates automated voice reminders in local dialect. And we also share the WhatsApp messages uh, for high risk patient group. Next. So Hushi Baby is a uh, is a digital necklace, but it doesn't require any battery. It costs less than a dollar, and it is a plastic waterproof completely. What stands up, Pushy Baby Out, is a black thread, which has a cultural appropriate, where mother understand this as a, as a, as a protect, going to protect the child from evil eye. So the second pillar that stands Kushi Baby apart is the actionable data. We have a data where the officials actually comes to know that uh, how many camps are actually happened, the high risk group, and, uh, and they can evaluate the health workers against the given targets. We have no dearth of data in India, but whether we have a data which, where we can take action. So that is the most important thing, Kushi Baby adding accountability to the system. Where we stand today, we have in last year 12 mothers and children which have been given this digital necklace. We have over 65,000 voice calls as a reminder being sent to mothers and their parents, children's parents. Uh, what we did though for health officials is reduce the data reporting from 30 days to just about four hours so that they can make the right decisions in real time. Moms love it. As you can see, we have over 80% retention rate because it's a culturally symbolic, and they think that socially it is very acceptable, and it keeps the evil out. So 
So with J and J and J and H, what we can do? Obviously, we can scale. We can grow from one village, going to the multiple cities and towns. However, what we can do additionally with J and H and Health is create a Udaipur as a model district for delivering these digitally accessible necklaces and grow beyond to the central government and integrate with Ministry of Health. We have been able to achieve national and international accolades that includes the prestigious National Digital Trailblazer Awards from Central Minister of Information Technology. We are here because of incredibly diverse team, sitting from valley to the hills of Udaipur, from technology to design, from sociology to public health. And with our frontline health worker as our heroes, we have been able to create a niche where we do the design through development to the deployment. It takes a village to grow a child. And we have a village of amazing partners who are not only helping us to dream big, but also helping us to, to scale. I'm Mohammed Shanwas, belonging to a rural Bihar. I would have never imagined to come to this stage, raising awareness for transformative actions for the basic healthcare for my homeland. With Gen H, we will have, we can have a wider public health impact. Let me take you back to Devli's story. Now that Devli and her child has a digital necklace and a health record, she did receive a vaccination for the whole e one year. Her future is secure for a better health outcome. There are still 800,000 children which are dying from vaccine preventable diseases. I invite you all and Genius to help us, help many more mothers like Devli and make an impact for their better health outcome. Thank you. Thank you for a very brilliant presentation. Um, just was one, one challenge. The, most of the mothers are migrants. They, they move a lot in their farms. When they be an issue at a time when they could make the necklace and therefore health information could, or they could also misplace the necklace. The issue of misplacement of necklace or mix up of necklace, thereby impacting on healthcare. So each necklace is a unique in itself. It has a unique identity. Our system works completely offline, where, where beneficiary has their own necklace. Even if this mix, mix sets up, we have a decentralized data system where we have a data on the tablet, and data can be easily retrieved, and we can issue a fresh necklace to the mother. Patient moves, health worker moves, so that's why we have a system which was completely offline. It's, it suits this demand very well. Okay, can I ask about, um, if for the mother and the child, if the child um, loses the necklace, or if the mother believes that the necklace in itself has got a particular power um, to ward off evil. What health education are you um, putting into place to ensure that the, the, that doesn't happen? It's culturally very acceptable. Uh, in rural parts of India, most of the Indian women do carry some form of a black thread. When we did our formal survey, we realized that this is the most acceptable form, and it has a cultural symbol. The black thread itself keeps it away. We purposefully kept it transparent so that they also see the copper wire inside. Copper also brings more positive energy. That's what the cultural significance is. So that's why we kept it what is acceptable in the form of form factor. We could have any other form of jewelry. And moms love to see this when they hold their baby. And they became our campaign tool to, to, to tell other moms that they should have this digital necklace with their babies. Congratulations on, on your work. I think it's very Thank you. innovative. Thank you. And it can reach uh, to great, um, make a difference in, in the health of the children. I just have a question, and it's about the safety of the of the cord in babies 
And how, how have you proved safety on that? Yes. So uh, as this, this some sort of wearable all babies wear in India, up till we have a thread which is uh, waxed, actually. It's a cotton thread. And uh, up till now, uh, we have a safety standard where we, we, we ask mothers not to tie. We have a safety protocol for the mothers. We have proper instructions for that. So, and up till now, we have like 6,000 babies in our tracking system, and we have not yet reported any adverse incident. Who is responsible for training in the first place and giving it to the mother, the health worker? And who is the network of health workers that's helping your distribution? You know, how are these getting out? Right. So we have a, we have a system. The government has a system that each village has a monthly camp. And they, they, the health worker carries these necklaces with the tablet, biometric secure tablet, and our team provides all sort of training. There are nurses which is, who are very old, actually, and they are now using it. They, earlier, they were tablet, smartphone, knife, but now they are using it very efficiently because we train them. Training is a very important key aspect. Where which we, that's why we can say that we, Hushi Baby handles the end-to-end -end process from design to deployment. So that's the key to success. Thank you very much for a compelling pitch. Uh, I have a question about sustainability of the project. Uh, so you already start. It seems that it's working. So after the grants are over, so how do you think that, that you can sustain, expand, and so other sources of income? Right. So it costs just $5 for each mother and children to have a better health in a digital record format. We have been able to reduce that cost, and it provides entire operation, not just the cost of the digital necklace, the training, the records, the health officials, and we have a data dashboard for health officials to do the right thing in the field. In partnership with government, we have a cost share agreement which we are looking forward to. With UNICEF and other partners, we have identified mechanisms to grow and scale from village to a district level. Our second trial will help us get those insights to better figure up, uh, get sorry, into the you know, sustainable. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.